Tablet PC, basically ultra-portable notebooks that double as digital notepads. Great for the student or a meeting hopper. Now that convenience is going to cost you. These are going to run you about $2,300. bucks. we have picked out three of the latest models, and I'm here to tell you which one's going to give you more bang for the buck. First, HP's TC-1100. Now, this is the quirkiest little thing we've ever seen. It's also the lightest of the bunch, only four itty-bitty pounds and four hours of battery life, too. That's a long time. Add to that, both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi wireless built right in, and this is a nice touch. i got to tell you, I'm a sucker for this jog dial. Only one problem here, and it's a big one. Now, this is an accident waiting to happen. The only way to avoid plunking $2,000 worth of equipment into the cement is, well, pretty good ability for balancing or the willingness to look like an idiot. The whole idea of a tablet PC is that you can carry it around with you, meeting to meeting, class to class. On a name like Travel Mate, you think this would fit the bill perfectly. Well, this thing isn't comfortable. It's huge, and it's heavy. For a full-blown laptop, it's not bad. It has an integrated DVD, CD, RW combo drive. It'll give you nearly five hours of juice. And just look at that 14-inch screen. But portable? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's more like luggable. As a matter of fact, I have a better idea. Why don't you quit your gym membership and buy one of these? Now, this one is our favorite, the Toshiba Protégé M200. This thing is loaded with fun, yet practical features. Like this, if you want to go wireless, just flip a switch. Then there's this five-way navigational stick. Kind of helps you scroll through documents or long web pages. Dare I say, better than a jog dial? And this is just too cool. The digital pen includes a digital eraser. The screen is 12.1 inches, big enough to impress, but small enough to still be portable. And the resolution is the highest of the bunch, so it's nice to look at, too. Now, I'm a relatively big guy, and sometimes with these smaller laptops, I have a problem with the keyboard. I call it the index hunt and peck. Not necessary here. The keys are spaced out just right, and they feel pretty solid. The battery life is lacking at just under four hours, but with all these cool features, you're getting the best of both worlds. A really cool tablet and a full-featured notebook. Not bad at all.